Hi, this is Todd with arenacreative.com. Today we're doing a quick guest blog for stockphotosecrets.com. What are we going to do today? Well, we're going to do something pretty simple, but a lot of people might not know how to do this. Sometimes you'll buy a stock image and you'll, you'll like it in color, but you just know in the back of your mind that this image would look great in black and white. So what do you do in Photoshop? Well, first you're just going to open up your image. Let's go up to the top the image menu and we're going to go to adjustments and then you're going to go over to black and white now in this little dialog box as you can see under the default setting we already have a black and white image and you know it looks pretty good but play around with it try the, the, the different options here you can try the blue filter uh, as you can see here the blue filter of the sky kind of disappeared you can click darker now we have a little bit of the clouds left over we're getting a little bit more mid-range. Um, you can just use your arrow keys on your keyboard and go through all of these until you see one that you just think looks the best. And say if you get close, say if I really like the way the maximum black filter looks. Because here, you've got the clouds starting to pop out of the sky, maintaining a little bit of that, that tone from this original image. But I'm not sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna tweak some more things. Let's take the cyans and play around with them. Let's see. All right. If I go too dark, you see you start to get a little bit of artifacting. So you don't want to go too much on the levels. So you just it's it's a it's a pretty fine line between you know creating something pretty moving and creating something that just looks worse. Well, I'm here in this image. I think it's looking the best with just adjusting the blues down a little bit lower because it starts to really bring out those clouds. And when, as soon as you're, you're done with it, and as soon as you're happy with the result, you just click OK. And there's your final image. So I hope this helped. I hope this was easy enough for, to follow. Uh, for more great tips, check out arenacreative.com forward slash blog. And also check out stockphotosecrets.com. Thanks a lot.